What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to Nightwish. Yes, indeed. Nightwish fans, feeling you! Come on now! Here we go. This is a request from Home Gnome. And this is actually one of Home Gnome's three prioritized requests for the month of May for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page, so... Here you go, Home Gnome. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Home Gnome wanted to see me react to this song by Nightwish called Geth... <laughs> I hope I pronounced this right. Gethsemane. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, yeah, Geth... <laughs> Gethsemane. That's a mouthful. Have I heard this song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, I have never heard the song before. This does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by, uh, let's see, Kekasan Sitama Hualuka. I hope I pronounced that right. And the video has 81,811 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? You ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Nightwish Gethsemane. Uh, live in Buenos Aires, 2019. I've done a couple reactions from this show. I remember the crowd is just absolutely lit on this show, which is great. Always good to see those kind of crowds. It's always fun. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. So let's make this a great, great, great special night on this bumpy road. Are you ready for some traveling with us? Are you ready, Argentina? I mean, Good ascension on her part right there. Um, that's nice. Got a good feel to that. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So it's just a 16 though pattern. There's just 1, 2, 3, four, 1, 1, 2, 3, four, 1, 1, 2, 3, four, 1. Okay, it's simple rhythmic pattern. Um, very effective, though. I heard a couple of jumps uh, around in feel. Like, there was, like, maybe a measure where they went into a double-time feel, and then they very quickly came out of it, though. Just enough to make you go, what? <laughs> it, look, nothing wrong with it. It Look, if it caught your attention and it made you go, what the H? You know, and then, you're, and then the, before you even have a chance to really have it set in with you, it's already gone. It's just a fleeting moment. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, let's continue. Let's see where this goes. 
again. You see what I mean? They'll do it for like a measure. And that's it. That's all you get. It's just that one measure of double time. It's just, it's very well strategically placed. It's not being overly done. They do it once here, once there. Will they do it again later in the song? I don't know. Maybe. I I, I kind of hope they do at least one more time. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that they're able to do within the songwriting context that just grabs your attention. It just makes you go, wait. <laughs> It just, it, it's just, it's so cool, and it's so simple to do, and it's so effective. I wish more bands would do stuff like that, that would, you know, just make you just do a double take, you know? It's cool, man. It's really cool. Um, nice to see the musicians moving around. Looks like uh, Empu's making his way back over to stage left. I saw Marco over on stage left interacting with Troy. That was cool. Um, so they're putting on a great show, some great showmanship. I saw Flora doing her her little Dutch windmill. Yeah, that thing is that ain't no joke, man. Good on her. Good on her. Uh, let's keep going here. Troy busted out the flute. All right. Uh, let's back up. I don't want to have to interrupt it. Uh, I don't want to have to stop right in the middle of it. So let's back up. Like we can play the whole thing without interruption. Um, we're three minutes in. We're about halfway through the song now. Um, it's a... Ugh. It's a really good song. I, I'm enjoying it. I, I am enjoying the song. Would I put this song in top 10? No. No, no. Uh, I, I don't think I've heard enough Nightwish songs to put it in top 20. I don't think I've heard 20 songs from them yet, so I couldn't say. Um, but I, I know I've heard more than 10 songs, and I, I would not put it in the top 10. I would not. It, it's now listen. Does that mean the song is bad? No, not at all. Uh, it's a, it's a great song. It is. I'm just not saying that I personally would put this in my top ten. That's all. But there, there's some great things happening for sure. Um, we'll talk about those in a little bit. We'll talk about. I'll I'll try to talk about those more at the end than right now. Let for right now. Let's get back in. I want to hear this. I want to hear this flute solo here.
this entrance. It's a pretty song, man. I, I I think that's the thing that's stri that's sticking out to me more than anything else is the song is pretty. Um, it's got some powerful parts to it, like that entrance right there when it was just Floor and uh, Tomas, and then um, Empo and Kai and Marco and Troy came in, bam! With that nice impact, that was powerful. That was good. I dug that. Um, and it's got that it's, it's got that kind of thing happening throughout the song, uh, where they have those really strong entrances, and that's really good. It, it's really it's very impactful. When you make an entrance, you want it to be impactful in a song like this, where you, if you're gonna be powerful, be powerful. Don't half-ass it because if you do, it's gonna come off half-assed, and it's it's almost. I hate to say it, but it's almost going to sound like a joke. And that's the last thing you want to do. So I like how when they're supposed to come in strong, they are coming in strong. Like really strong. So that's awesome. Um, Floor's vocal work on this is really nice. Nothing over the top. Uh, nothing super impressive from like compared to a lot of the stuff I've heard her do in the past. But she's getting the job done. I'm curious. This song... What album is this on? Is this, this sounds to me like, I want to say this is earlier Nightwish. Like, I, I want to say like maybe first three albums, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know, but maybe, maybe fourth or fifth. But I, I, I get the feeling this is early on. Like, this is like infancy stage Nightwish. So I'm going to say first three three albums would be my guess watch it's on the latest album god oh look you know, i if i'm wrong i'll own it that's fine it, look if it's from the latest album fine i'm wrong i'm wrong but it, it to me this sounds early so anyway let's keep going here Guitar solo. Okay, back up. We're going to get the whole thing without pausing in the middle of it. Um, the production on this is really nice, too. The lighting, the video screens, very appropriate. Um, very conducive to the song. Nothing too bright. Uh, nothing too uh, over the top. Everything's very subtle, especially with the lighting. Uh, I mean, every once in a while, we'll, we'll get that yellow. And that's it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's usually in a part where you're showcasing floor, so it, it makes sense because you want to vote, you want to showcase the vocalist, and what better way to do it than put some bright lights in there? You know that will definitely bring the attention to her. Uh, but for the most part, like when the instrumental is happening, you're getting this these dark hues, these dark purples, dark blues, um, and it's very fitting, very fitting for the mood and style and tone of the song. So great lighting work as always from their lighting crew. Man, their lighting crew is. Top notch, man. Absolutely top notch. Um, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. We'll talk about everything.
I like that little arpeggio run. Really nice arpeggios. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it was it was really good. I I dug it. Um. Let me think about it. Let, let me think about it. Um. Yeah, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to really think about this a little more than I thought I was gonna have to. Uh, let me think about it. I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Nightwish with Gethsemane. Uh, this was a request from Home Gnome, and this was actually one of Home Gnome's three prioritized requests for the month of May for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Home Gnome. Hope you enjoyed the show. Kind of funny that nobody else requested this song. Home Gnome was the only one. That's so weird. Usually when I do Nightwish requests, there's like at least like 15 or 16 people. Or in some cases, over 100. So that was always fun. So it's a little weird seeing just one name. It's, it's a little... It's kind of, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Okay, um, I have a score here. Now, I'm going to give this score. And... I am, I'm going to, I'm just going to go on record and I'm just going to say, I am, <laughs> I'm expecting to get some hate. I am. I, I know, look, I know I'm going to get hate for giving the score. I know I am because I've heard so many people say, you know, that anything under a nine is heresy. Okay. Well, that's your opinion. <laughs> uh, and I've also seen a lot of people say that anything under an eight would be unacceptable. Unacceptable! Well, got some news for you folks. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.8. Yep, 7.8. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Uh, a riot is an ugly thing. But I think that it is just about time that we had one! <laughs> Okay, like I said, bring on the hate. Go ahead, bring it on. But before you do, before you do, hear me out. Oh, don't grovel. One thing I can't stand, it's people groveling. Okay. Not every song from every single band can possibly be your favorite. I'm sorry. That is absolutely impossible. To say that every single song from any particular band, doesn't matter what band it is, doesn't matter if it's The Misfits or if it's Nightwish, it doesn't matter. Anybody who says that every single song from them is their favorite is A, delusional, B, a liar, or C, and this is usually the most common, biased. <laughs> They're not being objective, okay? I'm being objective here, and I can honestly say, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I do believe that this is my least favorite Nightwish song that I've heard so far. FBI, open up! Now, who knows? Maybe down the road, there might be more songs that I listen to Nightwish that I will, I, I could possibly like even less than this one, okay? It's very possible, all right? But right now, as it stands, this is my least favorite Nightwish song. Now, having said that, <laughs> it's still getting a really good score. I know everybody thinks that anything under a, a nine, I, 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 I'm not kidding you. I've had it said in the comments, anything less than a nine is heresy, and anything less than an eight is unacceptable. Folks, I got some bad news for you. <laughs> uh, not every song is going to be a nine, and not every song is going to be an eight. The day has finally come where we have a Nightwish song that, in my personal opinion, is in the sevens. Now, it's in the high sevens, but it's still in the sevens, you know? Now, Every, before everybody goes off their rocker and starts looking for their pitchforks and their torches, is a seven a bad score? No, a bad score. 
a bad score would be down in the twos. Horribles would be ones. A travesty, atrocities, affronts against nature. Those are down in the zeros, okay? Threes are pretty bad, okay? Four, not so good. Five is where we get into the positives, okay? If you're a, if you're at a 5.0 or higher, you're in positive ground. That means at least a 5.0 is okay, all right? Now, is this a five? No. Is this a six? No. It's a seven, and it's a high seven at that. It, it By definition, sevens are what? Pretty, not, not even pretty good. Sorry, my apologies. Sevens are really good. Sixes are pretty good. Now, this is getting a 7.8. It's a high, really good, okay? I could not honestly say that this is, deserves an eight. I just can't. I'm sorry. I just, I don't believe that to be true. Um, now, that's not to say what they did was bad. It's It wasn't bad at all. The guitar playing, really nice. Very tight. I loved how tight uh, Empu was and Troy, both of them were with Tomas, with Kai, and with Marco, especially when they were doing the unison work. When they were doing the unison work, everybody was right spot on. That's impressive, okay? It is impressive. Um, Troy, multi-versatile, mul very versatile guy, playing multiple instruments at different times, switching between the guitar and that flute. Flute solo was nice, by the way. It was short, it was sweet, it was to the point, and what did it do? It left the crowd wanting more. So good job on him. Um, the bass playing, you could hear it clear as day. Marco doing a great job holding down the bottom man, locking in with Kai and Tomas. Uh, really nice job on his part. Uh, Tomas's keyboard playing on this, fantastic. Ver again, very versatile, playing many different voices uh, and really filling out and defining their, their signature sound. Kai's drumming, rock solid, got no issue with it. Did I hear anything that was, you know, terribly impressive from him? No, but it was rock solid. It was absolutely rock solid drumming. And at the end of the day, isn't that what you want from a drummer? Someone who can keep time and someone who can keep the tempo and the pace steady and play with great feel? Wouldn't you rather have that than some guy who's doing a whole bunch of flashy fills and stuff like that but can't keep time to save his life? I'll take the first one. Thank you very much. Uh, Flora's vocals on this were really well done. Really well done. I, I had no issue with anything that she did. Uh, everything she did was clean. Everything she did was proper. Everything that she did sounded nice. It was in pitch, in key, great tone, great delivery, uh, great use of dynamics, great mic awareness. Have I seen her do better? Yes, I have. I've seen her do far better. Listen, we're talking about comparing a song like this to a song like the Poet and the Pendulum, or Ghost Love Score, or The Greatest Show on Earth. How could I possibly hold this in the same capacity as those other three songs and say, oh, this was great compared to those other three? You can't. You just can't. You have to be objective here, folks. You have to be. And there has to be, for lack of a better word, a pecking order, okay? This is why it's getting the 7.8. It's not a bad song. I enjoyed the song. I liked it, okay? I did like it. All I'm saying is, out of all of the Nightwish songs I've heard so far, this is my least favorite. So, that's really all there is to it. Now, after all that explanation, after all of pointing out everything that they did well, everything they did right, everything I enjoyed about the song, even me going as far as to say that I did enjoy the song, I liked the song, and me going out of my way to explain that it's a really good score. If you still feel like getting the pitchforks and getting the torches, bring it on. Bring it on. By all means, go ahead. Be that person, you know? Be that person who is absolutely biased and just anything less than an eight is unacceptable. Okay, fine. Fine. Show your bias, by all means, go ahead. I would rather be honest and I would rather be objective. And I'm giving this a 7.8 based on those facts. All right, so, like I said, not a bad song. It's actually a really good song, just not my favorite. As a matter of fact, it's my least favorite from them, but it's still getting a really good score of 7.8. 
So, 7.8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys want to do these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.